Hey guys, this is Keith and welcome to Let's Play Card Life. Card Life is a small game by uh, one Richard Hofmeyer. It's a, it's a little indie game, but it's very, very unique. Um, it describes itself as a retail simulator, wherein you follow the story of uh, three different people. You choose which ones. Uh, if you download the game, it's free on his website. You get access to two of the characters. Uh, if you pay five bucks for it, uh, you get the third character. Um, so we are gonna play as this guy, Anders Poder. And, you know, if you guys sort of like it, I could probably be encouraged to uh, to play the other characters as well. Um, without further ado, I think we're just gonna head straight into it. Prologue. <clears throat> Later today, Andrews Potter will buy a newspaper stand when he arrives in Georgetown. During the trip there, he refines his English by translating Ukrainian poetry on the train. He hasn't arranged for a place to live yet. Maybe he can find an inexpensive hotel. So, card life is a week in the life of... A random person, well not random, you have the choice between three people, uh, in this case, Andrus. Um, it's a game that shows you that, you know, your life is probably not so bad, and even if your life is pretty bad, it's pretty good anyways. It's a game about hardship and, and the, the troubles that people make to make an existence. And uh, I'm happy to share this with you guys. We are on the corner of 5th and Franklin, and this is our future newspaper stand. Oh, oh! before we start, I need to do this. Hold on. So you can read with me. Like that. I should have done that. Okay, well... <clears throat> yes, hello. Hi there! Come to take my stand, huh? Hello, Timothy. Yes, I'm here to buy stand from you. Glad she'll be put to use. I paid for the permit, uh, but I haven't used the stand for almost a year now. I have check. Is check okay? Sure, check is fine. Timothy Bigby. B-I-G-B-Y. Date? What is date today? 18th. April. Right, 4-18. So we just bought the stand for two thousand dollars we got stand it but that was most of our money unfortunately looks good i guess you're all set and i should get out of here did you need any help getting started i think we will do the tutorial maybe you have small help right now the stand's pretty much empty so first you'll have to stock the stand with some invent inventory Okay, how to do that? Mostly, what I've sold here is the Daily jo Georgetonian newspaper. You can take over my contract with them. That would be nice. We got the Georgetonian contract. There are other things that you can you can carry and sell too. People will always buy snacks and coffee. So that's good. The markup on soft drinks is good. Good, I see. But while you're starting out, it would be best to focus on selling newspapers. Okay, got that. Every morning, 20 issues of the daily will be dropped uh, off at your stand. Yes, good. You'll have to start the stand yourself, though. Go ahead and do that now. Walk over to the stack of newspapers, then press the down arrow to start. You can do that. So this is one of the mini games in the in the game, where we have to stock. Um, we have to stock our shelves, and this is me typing, in order to complete the tasks of um, that we need to do. Folding newspapers, fold it in half. Folding newspapers, leave a nice crease. If you were to, uh, say, misspell something, paper's ruined. You only got 20. 
They will be easy ah, to reach now. Almost done now. Stack them neatly. Almost done now. There we go. All right, good job. Don't forget to adjust the price before you sell them. To do that, start by opening your main menu, because everybody has one of those. To get there, hit the space bar. Let's hit the bar. So, <clears throat> this is the main menu. From here, I can adjust each aspect of my operation. Select an option from below to learn more. So what we want to do is just change the price, and I don't think people are going to uh, want to pay $5. For a newspaper, so we'll put it at. I can't set it to one dollar, so I have to math, but that's good enough, you know. Oh, sorry. So we got that, we set it, and now we go back. I think I am to be charging 99 cents for paper. That's an excellent price. Good, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Oh, I almost forgot. You'll need this vendor's permit. Got Franklin permit. Excellent. This one is for Franklin Avenue, but you can always move the stand later. Not that you'd ever need to. This is a good location on Franklin. This stand can take care of you. Just run it carefully and be patient. Yes, good. Thank you for stand and for your advice. Just promise to take care of my regulars. Yes, good. Okay. Yes, okay. We now have new stand. Excellent. We now have new stand. Later that day. Don't smoke it. Yes, hello, Mr. Glimbowski. Yes, please wait outside while I get a room for us. Any objections, Mr. Glimbowski? <clears throat> hello? Yes, hello. You want a room? Uh, yes, one room, please. How long? I'm not sure. A few weeks, maybe? Okay, you pay every week. You pay here, understand? Yes, good. Okay. How much is... How much for this room? Room is $119 each week. That weekly rate. <clears throat> you pay now, also. Yes, good. Okay. So that's pretty much the remaining of our money. Gone. Okay, you in A3. Upstairs. Be quiet in there. Um. Yes, good. Okay. One more thing. No pits and no guests. One person per room. No more. So... How much extra is it being for having a pet? No pets! When is rent being due? <laughs> Mondays. I just tell you that. I didn't say that specifically. You pay here, understand? Yes, good. Okay. That is all I am needing. Yeah, we got it. Be quiet in there. Bye bye. Yeah. See you, desk clerk. So let's go check out our new place at Breezy's Hotel, Motel, whatevs, at Breezy's. Meow. Yes, hello, Mr. Glembowski. I, yes, we have found a new home. How long? I'm not sure. A few weeks, maybe. You must be quiet. You are secret here. Pets cost extra. Uh, that's not true. Yes, I understand. I will get a new litter shed for you and food. You stay here, in room now. <laughs> See you soon, Mr. Glimbowski. His cat suddenly turned... Uh, Andrew suddenly turned... Um, Japanese. So I guess what we should do, we should take out some stuff. We can see food for Mr. Glimbowski. We can see sleep, food for us ourselves, and cigarettes. Unfortunately, Andrews has a bit of a 
um, nicotine addiction. So, you know, we will have to occasionally smoke a cigarette and food, uh, eat food, you know. So let's smoke. We have two cigarettes left. <sighs> I can relate, you know. So now our cigarette cravings are gone. We should probably... Oh, I have no idea what time it is, though. What we should do is explore the world. Explore the town. So we are here. Our stand is here. There's one thing we want first. We want to go up to the Georgetown Superstore. And we can choose to go... I'm going to go by bus. Because, you know, I have some leftover cash. We just need to be able to finish the week with $119. Which, honestly, isn't very difficult with Anders. That's why he's sort of an introduction character. Ah, oh, dang it. it. Did it close? Okay, it's not closed. So we will be needing some items here. We'll be needing some cigarettes. Um, 15 per pack. I'm thinking I will buy another one so that I have extra cigarettes. Need some cat food. Cat viddle. Uh, 20 servings per bag. That's fine. That's great. Is there anything else? We have a lighter. We do... do, 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 do. Apatol? Headaches. No, I don't have any headaches. We could start a aspirin addiction. A kitty cat? We need a wristwatch so you know what time it is. Oh, dang it! Okay, well, we got... Ah, oh, dang it. I would have loved to get just, uh, well, food, I guess. Sorry, Andres. You're going to have to uh, to eat tomorrow. And the bus is out. Okay, well, I guess we go by taxi. It's a bit expensive, but it is getting late. We need to feed the cat. It is Monday. Oh, right, we didn't get to actually buy the, uh, the actual watch. So we're going to have to go back there tomorrow. But we got, we got food for Mr. Glimbaski. That's important, I think. Hello. Let's uh, talk to cat. No. Hello, sir. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Glimbowski is well, pretty hungry. I guess he can wait until tomorrow. So let's uh, let's go to bed. So a little toothbrushing mini game here. It's not a whole uh, a big deal to do. Just brush and spit. And at the end of the day, we get a nice picture of Andrus naked in the shower. And uh, a bit of information on what we've done and travel and stuff like that. And we have $91 left. And now it's time for bed. Andrus is a uh, troubled man at times. He dreams very weird dreams. And walks funny in his dreams, apparently. That's not my cursor. I want nothing to do with that cursor. Had streams for you, right? Yes, I would like to save the game. You have no more copies of the Georgetonian, and we still don't know what time it is. Yeah, Andrus is hungry, and he needs a cigarette, and so does Mr. Glimbowski. Well, he needs food. So we'll give him food. That should last him for the day. And it's time to go out and explore the world. Well, actually, oh, guess we'll have a cigarette. Do do. We've got thirty cigarettes now. That should last us. Well, last me for like a day and a half. But Anders smokes less than me, actually. Okay, so I want to go back to the superstore. Uh, bye, bus. It's weird that the taxi cost 20 now and 10 yesterday. That might be some tutorial thing. Because Andrews needs food as well. And we need the... Um, we wanted that. The wristwatch. Buy that. And... What was it? We can buy a scented candle. Right. Inventory. What we want is food. And here you go. This is... Um, uh, gondola bars and this is just like pressed wheat flour it costs uh, three and a half dollars for with four per box so it's pretty cheap I'm just gonna get like a bunch there there you go you got four boxes there that should last us a little while and I don't think there's anything else we want right now get some locks but um, to be honest I I want to be careful with our, our money 
now we can see that it's um, 9.20 a.m. And we got 70 bucks to earn. Actually, I guess you want some food, Anders, don't you? There you go. So it doesn't do much in terms of, you know, hunger. Um, but it's tea and Anders will eat pretty much anything. So I think it's time that we go and, and sell some newspapers. We're going to take the bus. And start our little newspapering business. Okay, before we do anything, I just want to check. You know, items for sale. Alright, okay. We need to actually set this up first. We do this again. Remove the ties. Fold. Fold. Leave a nice crease. It folds into halves. Folding newspapers. Hopefully these will all sell. They will be easy to reach now. They will be easy to reach now. Stocking shelves. Hopefully these will all sell. There we go. I won. Hereupon I begin the new life which I choose to live. May fortune bring me good luck, and may the customers I serve be many. So, oh, they're already here. I buy the Georgetonian. Yes, yes, good. Okay. So this is the um, the the sales part of the game where you have to say what did the customer want and put in his change. In this case, that was pretty easy. We got a tip! Tips are awesome! Thank you. Please have a good day, okay? Hello? Yes, hello. I am Andrus Porter. It is nice to be meeting you. Oh, hi. I'm Stephanie. I'm actually on shift right now. This is my lunch break. Okay? Yes, good. Okay. So you can talk to them. You can exchange names. You can make, like, small talk. I've been looking for a Georgetonian. Yes, good. I am having that. Let's sell her a Georgetonian. You need four... Left. There we go. Excellent speed. I hate math and I can't see my keyboard very well. Oh, I need a cigarette. Or Andres needs a cigarette. Yes, hello. What would you be having? So you're the gentleman who's responsible for this newsstand now. That is being yes. My name is Meadow. I'm the contracts manager for the Georgetonian. Yes, okay. I am Andrus. It's nice to meet you, sir. I just uh, wanted to go over the contract terms in case uh, Tim didn't mention it. Yes, good. It's pretty simple. Just stop over at the office every Friday to bring your account up to date. You can also just stop by if you have any questions. We're located in the Florin district. Yes, good. Okay. Well, I'm on my launch break, so I'm gonna run. See you on Friday. Goodbye. <clears throat> hey, what's up? Yes, hello. I am Andrus. I don't know of your name yet. Just DC is fine. So, just call me DC, I guess. Okay. Yes, good. Okay. I'll buy this Georgetonian, please. Yes, good. Okay. So it's pretty simple, pretty standard. Um, the faster you go, the bigger chance of a tip, I guess, and the friendlier you are with people. Please have a good day, okay? Really hope that. Okay, she's not buying anything, so I'm gonna get myself a cigarette. Actually, I'm gonna have a granola bar, a gon gondola bar. I don't know why I say granola. And I'm just gonna have a cigarette as well before the next customer comes around. Excellent! Oh, hello! Hey, three men. Yes, hello. Hi there. Yes, hello. <laughs> what are you guys? It is nice to be meeting you. I am the new stand owner, Andrus. We are known as the three. Philip, Michael, and I'm Steve. 
Yes, good. Okay. What can I be getting for you? I'm afraid I'm buying today. You sure are. Three Georgetonians, gentlemen. Sounds good to me. Second it. Make it three Georgetonians, please. I will be getting off them now. Here's one. So let's see if we can give these guys a good service. And the next one. A. Can't see my bloody keyboard from my microphone. First world's problems, right? Oh, that was great. Good job. Got a $5 tip, so that was really worth it. We will return again. Thank you for coming to be stopping by here. So this uh, lady seems to be stuck. So I'm just going to close the store. I'll get her moving. Open it again. And you can check the time. It's noon. It's fine. So we're just waiting for uh, next customer, I guess. No? Hello, sir. Newspapers? Well, hello. Yes, hello. It is nice to be meeting you. I am the new stand owner, Anders. Well, hello. I'm Julian. Yes, okay, good. Is there George Tony left? Yes, good. And you find the scent. Thank you. Thank you for coming to be stopping by here. Got a lot of people waiting in line now. Excuse me, Bender. Yes, hello. It is nice to be meeting you. I am the new standard of Anders. Pleased to meet you. I am Deputy Officer Thales, and this is my jurisdiction. Do you jurisdiction? Yes, good. Okay. I see you're offering Georgetonians for sale here. Yes, and good. <laughs> I'll take this Georgetonian, please. Yes, okay. Ah, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Great speed. All right, yes, have a nice day. Before I go, I'd like to see a permit, please. If you don't have one, I'll have to ask you to stop selling your products. Also, I'll have to issue a fine. Permit? Yes, you need a permit to operate this stand. Yes, good. Here it is. Thank you. Sorry to bother you, sir. Good luck with your business. Yes, good. Okay. What? I didn't mean to close up shop. Ah. Oh. Now that customer left me. Hello. Yes, hello. I am Andalus Porter. It is nice to be meeting you. Nice to meet you. Call me Warder. Or just Ward is fine. Two. Hey, hey. Yes, good. Okay. Is there a George Tony left? Yes, good. And 19.9. Excellent speed. Yes, come back soon, okay? So many people. Howdy. Who are you? I am Andros. I do not know of your name yet. Howdy. I'm Dick. Yes, good, okay. Cup of coffee, pl Oh. I am not selling off coffee here today. No coffee, huh? Guess I'll have to go somewhere else. Yeah, Dick, you will have to go somewhere else. See the newspapers? Hmm? What's up? Yes, hello. I am Andus. I don't know if your name yet. Cool, I'm Tony. I run Catacombs Restaurant on the 6th Avenue. Yes, good, okay. I'll take, oh shoot, I forgot my damn wallet. Oh, okay. That's, I see. I'll be right back, okay. So I'm not being friendly just to be friendly. Um, you can actually, this is the same characters that will come around later. We could go visit them if we wanted to. How are you going? Off to work pretty soon. Before that, I gotta run some errands, get to the courthouse. Time is time. Time off is a blast, I tell you. Okay, Dick, I still don't have any coffee. You practically did not move, you know, since I told you last time. Yeah, okay. Hello. Yes, hello. 
You must be new here. This stand hasn't been open for a long time. Yes, that's correct. That's great. This is right along my work, uh, my walk to work every day. Oh, okay. Yes, hello. So who are you? I am Andrus. I don't know of your name yet. Hey there, I'm Richard. Could be Richard Hoffmeyer. I don't know. The guy who made the game. I'll take one Judge Tony in peace. Yes, good. Okay. Uh, you get. Some... Why do you give me eight dollars? Why not just five or two or whatever? Did you give me an eight dollar bill? Thanks. Thank you for coming to be stopping by here. So what time it is? Is it? It's two p.m. It's fine. And we got about half of our newspapers left, so that's that's a good start to the day. What's up, dude? It is nice to be meeting you. I'm the new standover, Andres. Cool. My name, by the way, is Kia. Yes, good, okay. Give me one of those Jontonians, please. Yes, good, okay. Yep. I'm doing pretty well here. Yes, come back soon, okay? Hey, Ward, what's up? I'll have a George Tonian. You want another one? Okay, that's 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 fine. Uh, who am I to judge, right? If you want two newspapers, two identical newspapers, then that's fine. Answer the bonus question correctly for ten. Okay, name the newspaper. The B. The, the I don't know. I have no idea. How would I know? I'm not even American. The Sacramento Bee. Good job! That's worth ten bucks. Haha! <laughs> oh, misclicked. What's up? Yes, hello. I'll take... How about that? George Tony? And sounds pretty good. So, you got your wallet then, Tony. Uh, great speed. Alright, cool beans. You gotta run. Thank you for coming to be stopping by here. I just need to... Ah, oh, yeah, the menu's open at the back there. Yes, hello. We'll have to live with that. Dick, come on, that's the third time today. I don't have any coffee here. There we go. What's up, man? Yes, hello. I haven't met you yet. I don't know if your name yet. I'm Troy, by the way. Yes, good, okay. So if you want to, we can we can ask questions. We can talk about other guys or stuff in the city, but um, you know, whatever you want. We can't small talk, I guess. Just turn in, please. Yes, good. Okay. B and you want nine and a cent. Thank you. Come again. Come back soon. I can do a break. I use a break. Hey Tony, what can I be getting you today? I'll take... Oh shoot, I forgot my... You had your wallet like two minutes ago. Could use a break just to get a cigarette. What's up, dude? Kiam. How are you going? I hate this town, man. Okay, well that was good small talk there. I'll take... How about that George Tonian? Sounds pretty good. Do -do -do. Pretty good at the number typing thing, right? Howdy, Dick. Do you have... Do you want coffee? Damn it! I don't have any coffee, Dick. Oh, hey, Richard. How are you? Oh, I thought you saw lattes. What is lattes? That's okay. I'll take... Hmm, let's see. It's a fucking newspaper stand, Richard. There's no nothing but newspapers here. But you may have one. Who am I to judge, right? Please have a good day, okay? Man, they're just piling up. Hey, Troy. What's up? Begin the sale. I will take, uh, how about that? George Tonian sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, four and a cent. Thank you. Yes, come back soon, okay? Hey, Tony, you brought your wallet this time? Food first, then small talk. 
I'll take... Oh, sh come on, Tony! Come on! <sighs> Hello, Officer Tails. What can I be keep getting you? You already got a copy, though. But uh, maybe he lost it. You know. Who am I to deny a customer? Hey, Kim, what's up, dude? Oh, it's because I'm hungry. Yeah. We've been working for all day now. Haven't had a break. Uh, but that's uh, that's Andrews for you right there. Thank you. Yes, come back soon, okay? What's up, man? Hey, Troy. How about a cup of? Sorry, Troy. Really? You didn't have? You don't have coffee? Not today. Mm, all right. Tony, man, give me a break. I need a cigarette. How about, uh, come on, Tony. What are you on about? Stop wasting my bloody time, Tony. Hey, Kim. Need a cup of the George. Uh, a, a, a cup of uh, newspaper, please. Wow, that was fast. Yes, thank you. And we are out of newspapers now. Excuse me, vendor. Yes, hello. I can't sell anything. I'm sorry, I go someplace now. That's fine. I'll be seeing you. So we're out of product, uh, product to sell. Which is probably good because we're tired, we're hungry, and we need a cigarette. So let's eat some gondola bars here. Mmm. Made from only the most economical, efficient ingredients and manufacturing product. Blah, blah, blah. Ingredients. Corn syrup. Whole grain, whole grain wheat, flour, uh, flour paste, uh, canola oil, corn flour, salt, SDY, baking soda, and artificial flavors. Sounds delicious. So we're, are we, come on, we, you can have another one, sure. So, and then we need a cigarette. We so need a cigarette. This has been a whole day without smoking. I would die. Savor it, Andrus. All well, the day's over. It's 5 p.m. We are tired. And um, I guess there's nothing left to do. Maybe, maybe we should go back and visit Mr. Glimbowski. We do have time, so I guess we can go on foot, save some money. So there's a little cutscene. Time is still going. You know, obviously, if you want to save time, you take a cap. But, you know, that costs a lot of money. The bus is faster, and it's cheaper, but walking is free, but that will take you, depending on how long you have to, you know, how long you have to walk, can take you a few hours, actually, to walk across town. So we are home after a long day's work. Well, it's not, yeah. It's pretty late, I guess. Well, not really. It's a good time to be home. Mr. Glimbowski? Mr. Glimbowski! How did you escape? Oh, he's worried now. Where did he go? I, I smoke when I'm worried too, Andrus. Not under here. Well, we need a cigarette then. Badly. Oh, man. Oh, he's worried for Mr. Glimbowski. Who can blame him, right? So where could that cat be? Where cat he have gone to? He could be going anywhere. Nothing back here. Oh. Hello? Lady? Hello? Oh, you A3, right? Yes, A3. That is me. I'm so sorry, sir. I should have say something. Today I hear Kitty crying in room A3. But I think it my Kitty, Lulu. When I open door, a big grey Kitty run outside. i very sorry. <laughs> You're sorry? It's my cat! I'll give you a hug, though. 
Mr. Glimbowski is good boy. He will come home soon. Oh, I hope it's soon. I'm Andrus. What's your name? My name is Su Xin Li. But you call me Susie, okay? Good, okay. I'll help find Kitty, but I scared about George. George? Yes, he my husband. He run hotel and work at desk. He kick you out of the room if you know you have Kitty here. Meow. Did you hear that? Mr. Glembowski! You're back! Oh, I'm so happy. Mark McGarrow. Oh, McGarrow, is it? Why did you run away from room? I was worried for you. Nope. Oh. Ouch! That is a bad kitty. I will eat it. No, sir. That's not what she said. So, Shin, what going on? Your water boil over on stove. Hurry on and get kitty into room. Don't let George see the kitty cat. Go on, now. Yes, good, okay. Whew. Good thing we found him, right? Hello, sir. Okay. <laughs> Are you hungry, kitty cat? I'll give you some food. That was a long day, I guess. Oh, it's... It's late. It's not even late yet. Late enough. But we're tired. So I guess we will have some food. Mmm. Wheat snack. And then head to bed. I think. Yeah. Let's sleep. So I actually had to start that little bit over. Because a bug that I found. But... Um, this was today. We made quite a lot of money, actually. So we, we are actually almost at where we need to be to pay rent. But obviously, we have to pay money as well, because we need money for the newspaper contract if we want to continue, to continue that. And we need food as well. So I guess we're not done yet. But it's time for sleep. I guess Andrus is a bit gay in his dreams. I suppose. Hey there, bus driver. Carolina. Why are you out here in the street? Don't worry, sugar. I'm not cold. Carolina. I tell you I miss you, but... I mean, I tell you that we miss you. But you'd know I couldn't mean it. Saying something like that wouldn't matter, and I don't want you to be sad. Sad? But I do wonder, do you still miss me? Do you miss being with me? I don't know. It could be... No, we have moved on. Just like you told me to. I don't need comforting right now. I don't feel any better when you say that. Wow. Wow, okay. Check the time. Bad dreams again. Oh my god, it's so early in the day. Let's go back to sleep. I wonder what I will be eating of today. What time is it? So you didn't go back to sleep. I am going you back to sleep, Andrus. Oh, he can't sleep. Maybe he's hungry. Maybe that's the, the deal. <clears throat> um, oh, well, he is pretty well rested, so maybe we should get an early start. That's a good idea. Eat item. Um, yeah. Have a good breakfast there, Andrus. It's, it's going to be a long day, and I'm going to go outside to smoke, because I don't want to smoke next to uh, Mr. Glimbowski. Smoke at home in real life. But this cat is gonna, you know, not gonna suffer from my, uh, from secondhand smoking. We should probably feed him as well. Oh. Ma. What is it, Mr. Glimbowski? Oh, you are must being very hungry. 
I will get food for you, I promise. I have food. Hmm, good food. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. I mean, it, okay, it's 5.30 in the morning. It's a good day, good time to... What day is it? It's Wednesday. So I guess we go along, move along to our stand. Now, we could do a number of things. Um, I think I want to take the bus to the superstar. Oh, dang it. Um, I don't know. We could... Now, I'm not going to spend money on a taxi and okay we're gonna go by foot because I think what I want to do is try and expand my um, my shop a little bit have some more items to sell because I mean Dick has been asking for coffee and rather than just saying oh my god Dick you're wasting my time why don't we just try and make some money off that but I think Ah, uh, closed. Can we see their opening hours? Well, it's probably, you know, it would open at 7 a.m., right? So we'll just wait until now. There we go. So what we could do, an easy way to get money, is buy some of this uh, pipeline crest. So I guess we'll buy a pack of that. Uh, pretty expensive. Well, it's 12, so it's, you know, we can we can make money. And I guess we buy some pipeline rinse as well. And close, and close, and then uh, we'll have a cigarette when before we start work, I guess. Now, the bus should be going. There we go. 8.30. That is a bit late. For a newspaper stand, I mean. Maybe we should have just gone there straight but you know what fine we'll open the store let's get started cut Whoop. the ties folding again it folds into halves fold it in half it folds into halves folding newspapers almost done now they will be easy to reach now. Hopefully, these will all sell. Almost done now. Hope oh, that's a long word. These will all sell now. Long oh no! Dang it! Dang it, dang it! Oh well. Before we start anything, I guess we need to remember to set the price for this. I wonder if we could set it... Can we set it at $2? Yep, I'll do that. $2 for that. That would be a great markup price, I suppose. There we go. Close, close. We will have a gondola bar. A dollar bar. Gone dollar bar and a cigarette. And then we are ready to work. Should have bought some more gondola bars so I don't run out, but it'll be fine. Hello, Richard. Yes, hello. How are you? How are you going? I wear a tie on my days off. People say you should dress for the job you want, not the one you, you've got. But if I wear really. If, if I were really doing that, I'd wear a cape and a mask. Do you even know how much a bulletproof jumpsuit actually costs? No, I have no idea. For now, it's a necktie and a vest until I save enough for the whole costume. Okay. Though I, st I don't have lattes, sorry. Let's see. I'll take one pipeline crest, please. Excellent. Yes, good. Okay. Wait, wait. Two doll- oh, is that too much? Um, yep, that's a little much for a pipeline crest, don't you think? I don't know, it probably is. Hello, Stephanie. Yes, hello. I've been looking for a pipeline crest. I just happen to have that. Uh, well, gotta be careful. A good day to drink cold soda. And you get $4 left. Wow. 
So that's a bit uh, different now. Now we have to type out the um, a little line to them. Hey, Suchin and Susie. How is your kitty? Oh, him. Hmm. I am glad he's home. He's safe inside. Oh, good. He seemed like good cat. Well, he did scratch you. I mean. <sighs> it is sad for keeping him in the room. He likes to escape and be smelling things. I understand. My cat, same way. I was once to be curious like them. Now I am slow and bored in life. Aw. I know what you mean. We both indoor cats now. Every day is same. Yes, sleep, eat, work, eat. And sleep again. Yes, and sometimes read newspaper. Do you need a newspaper? I have some for sale here. Oh yes, that why I come here. You know what? You can have it for free. That's fine. You were helpful with me. But this one is free for you. You so nice. Have a good day, Susie. Goodbye, and Andrews. Hey, Kian. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna small talk today. I think I need to um, to sell some wares, man. Uh, B. And you found one cent. There we go. Yes, thank you. Hey, Ward. How are you? I've been looking for a pipeline rinse. Yes, good. I am having that. Uh, B. It is very... If... Uh, the fuck! It is very... If... Uh, the... Scent. Oh, God. Fuck. Ah! I'm <clears throat> not buying those again, that's for sure. Hello, old man. Grunt, grunt. It is nice to be meeting you. I am the new stand owner, Andrus. Yeah, yeah. Clarence McGillum. Let's just stick to business at hand, why don't we? Yes, good. Okay. Is there a pipeline rins left? Yes, good. Wait a sec. Two dollars for this little thing? Yeah. Um, yes. You out of your mind or what? Here? Okay. Maybe I should turn down the price a bit. What's up? Yeah, I need to uh, talk to Tony here again because of a bug. So, I'll take. How about that? George Tony sounds pretty good. Uh, D. Oh my god. You're wrecking my balls here, man. Alright, thanks. Yes, come back soon, okay? Howdy, Dick. No coffee? But uh, damn it, Dick! I got a pipeline quest, though. Should have just bought that. You selling newspapers, huh? Yes. How much? The daily paper is being 99 cents. That too much for newspaper. Is it? Why pay almost one dollar for news? I watch news at home for free. But newspapers are full of the news stories. Of the, of the news stories. News coming from TV is fast and only has big stories. Eat more fun to watch than read. And I can cook or do cleaning while the person reads stories. Besides, I only want to hear about big stories anyway. But newspapers are being real things. News coming from TVs disappear after it has the ending. That true. It's good to have things to remember. But who wants stacks of newspaper in their house? If I want history, I can go to library. Uh, I'm not giving you a free uh, newspaper, man. Ask your wife. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up? Did we talk to this dude yet? It is... I am the new stand owner. Anders. Just DC is fine. So, just call me DC, I guess. I'll have a pint blind rinse. Yes, good. Okay. D. It is very... Uh, sent. Sold! Good job! <clears throat> Thank you. 
Thank you for coming to be stopping here. Man, I got a lot of customers. Hey, Troy, what's up? Would you like a newspaper? Yeah, sure, okay. See, the problem I'm having here is if I, I have too many other stuff than newspapers, then I don't sell all my newspapers, which means I wasted. Yes, hello, who are you? It is nice to be meeting you. I am the new stand owner, Anthus. He's Omar. You ain't been eating my cart yet. Oh, near my cart. Okay. I'm selling the best food, huh? You'll see everybody here loves me. Yes, good. Okay. <laughs> is there a George Tony left? Yes, good. You got four dollars and a cent left, Omit. Omar, sorry. Who's Omit then? Other game. Hey, Richard. Oh, I thought you saw... I still don't have any lattes, Richard. I'll take... Uh, one pipeline quest, please. Yes, good. Okay. Just a second. I'm sorry. Your pipeline quest is $2? Yeah, that's correct. Wow, that's high. I think we're going to pass. Okay, thanks. Maybe I should reduce the price a bit. What's up? Yes, hello. What's up, Tony? I'll take... Oh, shoot. I God damn it, Tony. Say that every day. Excuse me, Winder. Yes, hello, Officer Tails. I do believe I've shown you my per permit. But you can see it again if you wish to. Thank you, sorry to bother. Would you like to buy anything, Mr. Officer? No? What's up, dude? What's up, Kian? Need a copy of the George Tonin. Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Seven and a cent. Not big on tips, are you today, huh? Hey, Troy, what's up, man? What's good today? How about Judge Tonian? Sure, that'll work. I was planning to eat, but, uh, you know. Newspaper's fine. Have a good day, okay? Yes, I am selling newspaper. So, yeah, obviously, yeah, I'm not... Okay, thanks for stopping by. Just like there's some people that are happy to buy... Uh, okay, I think I need to take this time to get some food in my belly. Some people that are happy to um, pay $2 for a pipe bank crest. And then there are some that are not. And I need a cigarette as well. So I might not reduce it. And just get crazy markup on that. Hey Troy, what's up? Hey man, I need a copy of the George Tonian. Do do nine dollars and one cent to you. Hey Tony, did you bring your wallet? I don't have any coffee, Tony. I'm sorry. Not today. Philip. Oh, it's the three men. Okay. These guys usually tip pretty well. They're nice and happy. Let's talk to them. How are you going? I couldn't tell you how I'm, I'm doing. I have no idea where to start. What? Oh, okay. Uh, playing tennis, whatever it is. It happens in sport, it happens in music, it happens in everything. I'm lost now. When you are fully consumed with the act, the witness just disappears. What? Well, I, I don't know what you're... Because the person inside you, the dust of remembering, was otherwise occupied. Wow, that was a bit philosophical. I think I skipped the dialogue or something. It's my turn, gentlemen. Or is it my turn? You got it. Three Judge Tonians, please. An excellent choice, Steve. I will be getting off them now. Here's one. Uh, let's see if we can do this fast. There we go. That's one. A... Seven and a cent. And the next, the last one, C, nine and a cent. Got a five dollar tip! Excellent! We'll be returning again. Yes, thank you. Hey, Widget, what's up? How is, it, how is it that you are being? Thinking about today, about my old car. For the brief time in my life when I had access to an old smobile. 
Never did I once ask any anyone what's the news with the olds. But you gotta let go of your regrets, or they'll just kill you as the years go by. Wow, okay, that's deep. I'll take. How about that George Tonian sounds pretty good. So Richard, you are getting George Tonian. Hello, Meadow. How are you? I'm not gonna ask. Yes, I do have pipeline rinse. Uh, C. Rinse is pipe line. Ah, oh, fuck. Lines diet brand. Four dollars left. Uh, back to you. Good enough. Thank you. You're welcome, Meadow. Please have a good day, okay? What's up, man? Hey, Troy. I need a copy of the Georgetonian. Yes, sure. Okay. Can do. Please have a good day. Okay. Answer this question for $10. This new paper was the last edition in 2000. I don't know. The Seattle Post Intelligencer. Oh, haha! I had no idea. Yes, George. I has new paper. Newspaper. Will he stop bothering me if I give him a free newspaper? I'll try. You should be- oh, that might be a good idea. You should be giving them a second chance. No? What? Okay, well then... Thanks for wasting my time, George. Hey, Kim. What's up? Yes, hello. How many newspapers papers are you going to read today, man? Um, seven and a cent. I think I could increase it to one and a half dollars, I think. Yes, hello. Co Dick, I don't have any coffee, man. No, Dick. Just leave it, man. Well, hello. Ooh, you, who are you? Yes, hello. I'm Anders Potter. It is nice to be meeting you. Well, hello. I'm Julian. Yes, good. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to buy this pipeline crest, please. Yes, good. Okay. Yeah. Crest is a nice sounding word. It is a nice sounding word. Excellent. Good job. You're welcome. Oh, no tip for my overpriced... Um... Oh, another bonus question. Uh, well, oh, we got the same one. Richard, if you're watching this, that's a buck. But thanks for the ten dollars. Excuse me, vendor. Yes, hello. I'll be needing a copy of the Georgetonian. Can do. Seven and a... Oh, I can't hit buttons I can't see. Hi, Richard. I was just talking about you. I still don't have any lattes, but I will... Maybe one day... Let's see. I'll take one George Tony, please. There we go. That was fast. I want more tips. Hey, George. Yes, I'm just going to skip through you because you don't want my newspaper. I can't even give you a newspaper. Oh, okay. Hey, Tony. Did you bring your wallet? Yep. Uh, you can have George Tony. Yes. I gotta run. See you, Tony. Please have a good day, okay? Man, there's so many customers. Hey, Troy. What can I get you? George Tony? That's great. I have just one, one just for you. Yeah. You're welcome, Troy. Come back soon, okay? Hey, Omar. What's up? Yes, hello. I'll buy this pipeline mince, please. Yes, good. Okay. D and then the soda. I in the silver can. That went well. You're welcome, Omar. And I need a cigarette now. Well, hello, Julian. Yes, hello. 
It's nice that these uh, pipelines are, are moving. He said crest, right? A complex flavor to describe. Ah! Three dollars back. I'm really tired. Yes, thank you. If I could just sell my newspapers, that would be great. Hey, Dick. Would you like something not co Damn it, Dick! I am not selling of coffee here today. Hey, Officer Tails. I could close the shop and then, you know, maybe I should get a coffee. <laughs> um, whoa. Uh, you have no more copies of the George Tony. I'll sell one thing. What's up, dude? Well, I'm a little bit tired, you know? No. No coffee. Sorry. Uh, hey, Wart. Do you want a pipeline? Yes, there is a pipeline crest left. I think. D. Pipeline crest is pretty popular. Eight bucks back, and we are good. It's one more customer. Should we take him? I'm tired. I need a cigarette. Hey, Troy, let's make this quick. Don't have any coffee, Troy. Sorry. Okay. Oh, they keep coming, man. Julian, you look like a young boy. Do you want a pipeline quest? Yes, or a rinse. That's fine. I am having that. Uh, rinse, right? Shit. Okay. Enjoy it while it is cold. Ah, still cold. Okay, I'll do the um, the receptionist, Meadow. Yes, hello. Yes, we do have a pipeline rinse. Uh, C. Rinse is pie uh, lines diet brand. Six dollars for you. Thank you. Oh, they keep coming. Okay. Again? Richard, come on. But thanks for the money. I'm making so much money now. <sighs> hey, Julian. Yes, hello. Fine. I... You're living off this stuff, man. But you know, Pipeline Crest is pretty popular. I make great money from this, so I mean, I should just keep going, even though he's dead tired. Hi, Stephanie. Is there a pipeline crest left? Yes, there is. Start. Uh, B. Pipeline crest is pretty pop. Popular. Ah! You know, typing is not a big issue for me, usually. But, you know, when you have to spell it out as well. Or... <sighs> I'm getting stressed from this. Hey, Richard. No, still don't have any lattes. Skip through you. Take one pipeline crest, please. Yes, yeah, good. Okay. Well, he wants it now. That's great. Crest is a nice sounding word. And four dollars to you, sir. Thanks, Andrews. Have a good one. Thank you for coming to be stopping here. I wonder what time it is. I don't even know. Hey, Troy, you back? I am all out of Judgetonians, but you've had like three, four today, I think. Yes, I sorry. Thank you, sir, for not saying anything. Hi, Dick. Would you like some coffee? Don't have any coffee! Yeah, I'm getting pretty tired of your shit, Dick. Hey, Kian. Too tired for small talk, too tired for question. That's it. You know what? I'm stopping. I'm stopping for today. There we go. Done. Let's see. It's... Okay, it's uh, pretty late in, in, the, in the day. I think we can... Um, how many do we have? We have six of those, five of those. I think I'm going to drink this. Yes. Diet carbonated soda. 
Uh, did not much for me, but I guess we will have a gondola bar with it. Um, nom, 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 nom. And another one. No, you know what? We've made good money today. So I think we're going to have a cigarette. And then we're going to see if we can find a place to, uh, to get some real food. Like, uh, Omar. Where was Omar? Downtown? I'm not sure. Park. I don't know. Guess we'll go and... We'll, we'll see if we can find some real food. At least we have, you know, we have the gondola bars if we need to. Oh, there he is. Hey, man. Hello. Come for the kebab? Good with boiled egg. What? Okay. Begin the sale. What food are you having to sell today? You're going to love it, huh? Tiny day, Wednesday, seafood stew with tomatoes. My mama's favorite, three bucks and comes with a soda. That sounds delicious. I can, okay, combo. Oh, you can get, you can get the bowl of stew for three dollars, or the combo for three dollars, or the quail kebab. What? Quail kebab? Okay, we'll get the, uh, the, the, the fish stew and soda. Just for you. Aw. See, that's why you're nice to people. Eight. Tell Tajin. Anything else? Um, no, I'm good. So you're selling them for one dollar. Don't scare away my customers. Um, yes, I will give you two. I will give you a dollar too. Thanks again, huh? You're gonna have a good day, you know? Yano. So how are we now? We are pretty well fed. Not a whole lot, actually. Uh, but we need food. We are tired as hell. And it's it's 8 p.m. So probably a good time to go home. Click here to travel by bus. I'm not spending twenty dollars on a taxi. I have the money, obviously. Now I have been considering expanding my empire to coffee, lattes, and stuff like that. That could be nice. But then again, if you play as Melanie. Uh, she sells coffee, so I mean, that could be fine. Mr. Glimbowski, how are you? Oh, you're a hungry cat. Hello. Meow. Hello, sir. Okay. Okay. You, you get food now. So what else? Let's go out and have a cigarette and go... Oh, not now. Have a cigarette, go to bed. And we shall be fine. I guess maybe in just a gondola bar. We have only five of those left now but we have been making quite a lot of money and that's obviously the uh, the, the bonus of me having completed and just before so I know a bit and he's the easiest character to to play as so it is 10 p.m. I think it's time the good old Andrews gets to bed and gets some sleep so just brush our teeth here spit and have a nice shower. So, we have made, we've sold quite a lot, actually. Total income, and is that just for today? No, we've not made a hundred, okay. But we made quite a lot of money, I guess. Sales today, uh, sales total, hmm, that's nice. So we're doing good. Good old Anvis. So what's it going to be? Another bad dream? I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's me pressing here. I do not know. Okay, I guess he just slept. Yes, save. 